Hello everyone, this video shows you the procedure to follow in order to determine the relative density of a soil sample. Starting with determining the minimum dry density of a soil sample that corresponds to the loosest possible state that this soil can reach. Three alternative methods are provided in ASCM to determine the minimum density of a soil, but in this video, we will only see two of them. Let's start with the first method, which is using a funnel pouring device to place material in mold. First, we take three readings for the height and diameter of the mold using a caliper in order to determine its volume, and make sure to remove the collar when taking these readings. Then we get the mass of the empty mold, also not including the collar. Then you fill this funnel with a tested sand, keeping the spout closed with your finger. Now place collar on top and use the funnel to fill the mold, moving in a circular spiral pattern as you can see in this video. And in order to reach the loosest possible state all over the height of the mold, we need to maintain the same energy of free fall of soil at all times. This is done by doing these two steps. First, keep the same height of sand inside the funnel at all times. You will need help from another person. As you can see in this video, you need to keep on adding soil inside the funnel so that the height of the sand inside the funnel will stay the same at all times. Secondly, you need to adjust the height of the funnel to maintain a free fall of the soil of about half inch. That means that the distance between the opening of the funnel and the surface of the soil inside the mold should stay the same all over the experiment. Once the mold is filled with enough sand so that it overflows, we close the opening of the funnel with our finger and we remove the collar carefully without compacting or vibrating the mold. Then as you can see we remove the excess soil and we clean the mold properly. Finally, we measure and record the mass of the mold full of sand. Now moving to method B, which is the tube method. Again, we need to identify the height and the diameter of the mold without the collar and the empty mass of the mold not including the collar also. We place the collar on top and we place tube in the center of the mold as you can see in this video. Now we fill the tube with the tested sand. Then we extract the tube from the mold, raising it vertically, allowing the soil to overfill the mold. Here an important remark is that the tube should contain the exact volume of soil needed to fill the mold. You can see that in this case, we added too much soil inside the tube so that the soil overflows from the mold. So we need to repeat the test in order to meet this criteria. Now we repeated the test and the tube contains the exact volume of soil needed to fill the mold. We carefully remove the collar without compacting the soil. Then again, we remove the excess soil from the top of the mold and we clean the mold carefully in order to record the mass of the mold full of sand. Now moving to the maximum dry density that corresponds to the densest possible state that the soil can have. The compaction here will be done by vibrating the soil sample and by placing a dead weight on top of the sand while doing the vibration on vibrating table. The mold used in this experiment is larger than the compaction mold and again we need to identify the height and the diameter of the mold and its mass empty without the collar. Now we fix carefully the mold on the vibratory table using the bolts provided. 
The compaction will be done by placing the soil in the mold in three equal layers. So first we need to place the first of the three equal layers of sand inside the mold. And here a reminder that the third layer should not exceed the height of the mold by half inch similarly to the proctor test. After we place the first layer, we place the dead weight on the sand and we vibrate for three minutes. Now we repeat this step for the second and the third layer and make sure to place color on top when we reach the third layer or we can place the color on top at the beginning of the experiment before placing even the first layer. Once we finish the vibration for the three layers, for three minutes using the vibratory table, we remove the dead, the dead weight and we remove the collar and also we remove the excess soil from the top of the mold. Now we clean the mold and we measure the mass of the mold full of sand. You should always keep in mind that density tests whether it is to determine the minimum or the maximum dry density, it should be performed three times to allow you to obtain an average result.